All right. Let's see. Are we streaming? Welcome to the Brain Joe virtual classroom. All right. So I am about to do the tab walkthrough for the uh, for the tune Colored Aristocracy. And um, this has been, uh, I put this one up as a tune of the week several years ago. It's been one of the most popular tunes, the ones I, one I get asked about a lot, including how to play certain parts of it. So I thought it'd be a good one to do early in the virtual classroom. Um, and I'm going to be doing for, uh, so this one is, both of these today are for Breakthrough Banjo members. Um, the uh, the one I'm going to be doing next is for the tune Shuffle About, which I posted as a tune of the week um, just yesterday. Uh, another really fun tune, so if you you can stay tuned for that after I finish with uh, Colored Aristocracy. Um, if you're watching this live, remember that you can comment uh, in the comment box below uh, the below the video. Um, you can also um, Comment if you click on the YouTube link above the video. If you want to watch it on there, you can you'll see the comment box there. And just remember that you um, need to be. I think you need to be logged in to YouTube to be able to activate the comments. Okay, so this um, this tune, this version of Colored Aristocracy, was uh, based on the version by Taj Mahal. So Taj Mahal is a folk guitar banjo player. Um, and put this on one of his albums years ago. Uh, a lot of people actually uh, uh, kind of came into Clawhammer after first hearing it as one of those uh, tunes that gets people really excited. And uh, it's called Colored Aristocracy. is an old tune. Um, this is a. Uh, uh, it's oftentimes or usually played in the key of G if it's played in a jam. So this is really like a solo banjo version. It's in the key of C, and it's also in uh, open C tuning which uh, you may also know as the same tuning that's used for Snowdrop. And um, Taj Mahal's version uh, uses a lot of syncopation, uh, which I like, and which you find in this particular arrangement. So you'll see that as we work through it. Um, but I'll show you some ideas of some simpler ways to play certain phrases uh, if you want. Okay? Um, and uh, I should also add that, uh, was it last year, a year before last? Uh, this was one of two songs I played in, uh, uh, that, uh, in a banjo contest that I won. So uh, it's also an award-winning, it's also a good contest song. It's a, it's a great piece, it's just a great piece for solo banjo. All right, let's get started. So as a reminder, as we walk through this tab, you're going to note that blue box at the top of the screen. Uh, that'll mark what measure we're on. Um, so, uh, this song, uh, um, we'll review the tuning real quick. We are going to be in open C, which is uh, C on the fourth string, G on the third, C on the second, E on the first, so that's the difference between this and double C. Double C, this would be a D. Now we're at an E. And then the fifth string is the same. is a G. So that's tuned to an open C chord. So that's why it's called open C. C, E, and G. All right. The song begins with... Uh, this is based on his, his, Taj Mahal's way he does it. He opens up with these harmonics on the 12th fret to set kind of set the tune up. Um, so you get those just by lightly placing the finger over the 12th fret and then hitting each of those uh, it, first string, second string, third string, and fourth string. And he just kind of plays that, pauses, and then launches into the tune. So that's just... You could do that one at a time if you wanted for extra effect. But it's just those harmonics on that string if you want to add that little feature. Um, I usually do when I play it, just as, just as a nod to the fact that I learned that learned this song from his playing. Okay, so now we're going to open. Uh, the, the, the tune actually starts now with uh, the open second string, followed by a brush thumb. 
and then a pull off middle uh, second fret of the third string to the open third, followed by a brush thumb. So that first measure. Next measure, open second, followed by a brush thumb. Easy enough so far. Now we're gonna move into one of these syncopations that I alluded to. Um, so here, we are going to uh, play a skip stroke, then the, then, then the drop thumb to the second string while we're fretting at the second fret. I'm doing that with my middle, my middle finger. Another skip stroke, and then playing the open string with our thumb. Oh, open second. So, we're just playing that note twice with our thumb, but we're keeping that motion going as we do. So this whole measure sounds like this. Slow-mo. Okay, so it's just a skip and do a drop thumb now. If you wanted to play that without that a little figure there and um, maybe a, a little less syncopated, you could just do the first, first half of the measure the same and then just pull off the second string, second fret to the open and then the brush thumb. Okay, so that's just an alternate way of doing that. And there's a level two version of this tab in the vault um, and that's probably what I have in that version. This is the this is the performance version of the one that I did for the tune of the week, but um, there should be a demonstration video also in the vault for the, the level two version. Okay, let's move to the last one we see here. We have a slide uh, from the second fret of the, of the second string to the fourth fret, followed by a brush thumb, back up to the second fret of the second string and a pull off to the open string, followed by a brush thumb on the open strings. So all together, everything we see at the top sounds like this. If we didn't want to do that drop thumb in the second phrase, second measure, we could do this. Okay, let's move on to the next set of measures. Let me check for questions real quick. All right, looks like we're good. Okay, so um, now we have, uh, we're gonna fret the second fret of the third string, play that, followed by brush thumb, keeping our finger in place. And then same little figure as before, just different notes where we're gonna skip stroke to a drop thumb, this time to the open third, and then we're gonna skip the next stroke and go to the, go to the thumb on the fifth, just like before, but with different uh, different uh, melody note. So that whole measure, again, it's a way of syncopating that note that's on the open third string. Okay? Again, if you want to play it without that, you could do this. So again, a pull off from on that second fret of the open. But as tabbed out, it sounds like this. Okay, Oop, let me move my blue box just so you know that uh, this is the measure that we were just doing. All right, so now we're gonna move to the next one. And so this is an open tuning, which means that the chords, you can play chords throughout just by barring all the strings. So the open, the open banjo strings are the C chord, C major chord, five frets up is the F major chord. We're gonna move to that position for this next measure. So we bar across all, fret, all, all the um, strings on the fifth fret, play the fourth string followed by a brush thumb. Pinky down to the eighth fret of the first string, we're gonna do a pull off from that to the, to the, fifth, to the um, fifth string, which we're holding down with our bar, and then brush thumb. So all together. One more time. All right, now we're back off that F chord. We're gonna play a uh, pull off from the third fret of the first string to the open third, I mean to the open first string, and then follow that with a brush thumb. 
Now we're gonna uh, do a pull off from the second fret of the second string to the open second, followed by a brush thumb on the open strings. So those that for that whole measure, let me move my bar box. This is where we are. Okay, so. Okay, now move to this next measure, another bar shape, this time on the second fret, and we're actually uh, forming a, this is a D major chord here, two frets up from the open, which is a C major. So what we're gonna do is, while we're holding that down, play the first string followed by a drop thumb to the second. First string again followed by a thumb on the fifth. Bring the pinky down to fifth fret, do a pull off to the, to the second fret on the first string. And then follow with a brush thumb while we still have our bar shape. So that whole that whole measure. Okay. Move to this next measure. We're gonna place our fingers over the. Uh, we have the second fret of the first string of the. I mean of the second string with our index, and then I've got my ring finger on the third fret of the first string. This is uh, this is actually forming a G major chord in this tuning, and we just go three strikes across the strings. And then the very last time, we follow it with a thumb on the fifth. So, very authoritative uh, G chord there. And that kind of closes uh, one pass through this tune. Um, so this next measure kind of starts another pass, uh, or through that um, first initial run through the A part. So now we're kind of doing another run through the A part. Um, starting with this last measure you see at the top, which sounds like this, where we have the open second followed by a brush thumb. This should sound familiar because this is how we open the tune. Uh, now we have the pull off second fret third string to the open followed by a brush thumb. Okay, so I'm going to play through everything you see at the top of the screen. If you are going back to this uh, one measure real quick, just to show one other way of playing this one, if you wanted to play it a little simpler without the drop thumb, you could just do a, uh, forming that bar shape, play the first string followed by a brush thumb instead of the drop thumb. Okay. All right. Oops. Okay, next measure. Again, this is uh, all rehashing what we've already done. This is a second pass through the B part, so we have, again, same figure here, open second, followed by brush thumb. The same skip stroke into the uh, second fret of the first, I mean, of the second string with the drop thumb, followed by another skip stroke, and then the open second. So that whole measure. And again, if you didn't want to do that skip stroke, you could just do, oops, sorry. All right, this next part, again, we have slide from the second fret of the, of the second string to the fourth fret, followed by brush thumb, back to the second fret, uh, and do a pull off to the open string, then a brush thumb, so that measure. Back again, threading the second fret of the third string. Uh, play that, followed by a brush thumb. Release your finger, do that same skip stroke into the drop thumb to the open third, followed by a skip and a thumb on the fifth. So that whole measure. And again, if you wanted to do something different, you could do just a pull off there and a brush thumb. All right. We're gonna go back to this F major shape, bar shape across the top, I mean across the fifth fret. So play the same thing, fourth string and a brush thumb. Pull off from the eighth fret to the fifth fret on the first string using pinky. 
followed by brush thumb. Move to these same little series of pull-offs. Third fret, first string to the open. Brush thumb, second fret of the second string to the open. Brush thumb, so again. Now this is the part that's different than what we did before because we're closing out this A part to move on to the B part. Um, so we're going to uh, we're going to do a hammer on uh, from the open second to the second fret of the second string, and as we do that, we're going to bring our fingers into that G chord shape we did earlier. So like this, and then now our G uh, fingers are in place. We just do a brush thumb, which form which makes a G chord. Then we have uh, we're going to pull off that third fret of the first string, which we're fret fretting right now. And then just play the, the second string while we're still fretting that at the second fret. And then that's going to close out, the next note is the open second, um, which closes out that pass to the, that second pass to the A part. So everything at the top sounds like this. down to the close of our whoops of our a part let me check real quick for any questions all right all good so here here's the um so if you were to be closing this or if you were going to be repeating back to the a part again you do this first uh, measure we see so open second followed by a brush thumb. And then a skip stroke to, uh, followed by an open second with a thumb. Another skip followed by, the, followed by the open third. And then we go back to the beginning. So and play it just like we did. Now if we've cycled through this again, we're ready to go to the B part. We play it at the second measure there. Open the same same way it starts. Open second followed by brush thumb. And then we have this little syncopated uh, note uh, that's generated by a pull off to a fretted string. And that's that. So we start this second half of this measure on the open second, but then we have we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have our finger already fretting that eighth fret of the first string, so that we can pull off. You see that number four uh, underneath that uh, that eight in the tab, which is the eighth fret of the first string, to indicate that that note's to be generated with a picking finger. In this case, you can use any finger you want. Four means pinky. You could use your you could use anything. You could use the pinky or ring. I think works well there. But so what you're doing is you have that fretted. You play that open second. And then you just pull off that first string while you're fretting it at the eighth, the eighth fret to get this. And then you skip the next note and play the fifth. Again, this is a little syncopation that Taj Mahal throws in his version to kind of open into this B part. So, if you wanted to, to do it without that little syncopation, you could just do this. So, open second, and then just the, the uh, first string fretted at the eighth fret followed by a thumb on the fifth. So with no with no syncopation there. Um, so that's probably, in my opinion, that's the little, that's the trickiest measure in the whole song. So, um, but uh, it's real fun when you get it right. All right. So let's move now. We're going to the B part. And you'll see the B part kind of re uh, starts different, but then recycles a lot of the A content. So finger still on that eighth fret of the first string. Play that. Followed by a brush thumb to the fifth fret of the first string and a pull off to the open, followed by a brush thumb on the open strings. 
So that's what that measure sounds like. Now we're going to hammer on open second. I mean open third to the to the second fret of the third string. Followed by brush thumb. Another drop another uh, skip stroke to a drop thumb this time to the third string while we're fretting at the second fret. Another skip stroke followed by a thumb on the fifth. So that whole measure didn't want to do that, you could just do this. Okay. And it kind of hangs on this chord uh, for two more measures. This is an A minor chord. Um, so another hammer on open third to the third string second fret followed by brush thumb. Do that again. So that's that whole measure. Now, last run through this A minor chord. Get another little syncopation in. Same hammer on third string to the second fret. Skip stroke to the open second. Skip stroke to the open second again with the thumb. And then the open third to end it. Okay. So our beep, I'm going to start with the, uh, that little syncopated part where we're leading into the B part and play through the top here. So this is that. So if that on that last measure, if you wanted to play it differently, you could just do this. So. Something like that. Hammer on, brush thumb, open second, then a pull off from the third string, second to open. Something like that. Or just like that. Okay? If you want to simplify it a little bit. Okay, let's move on to this uh, next measure. Bar the, bar the fifth fret again. Uh, play the fourth followed by brush thumb. Pull off from the eighth fret to the fifth of the first string. I have a skip stroke there, which you can elect to do if you want to highlight that last note. Or you could play it as we did before with just brushing it. Either way works. Let me move my bar. That's the measure we're talking about. Now, again, we're back to familiar territory uh, with the, this is, this is all the stuff that we did um, in the first run through the A part. So these two pull-offs should look familiar. And then move to this bar on the D, on, uh, on the second fret, same as we did before, this drop thumb. Pull off fifth fret to second. And if you wanted to do something a little simpler, you could do, oops, sorry. And then these uh, emphatic brushes across the G chord. Whoops. Like this. And now the song goes back to one more run through the A part, really, or A part of the, uh, one run through the A part, but we still refer to this as a, as a B part, but the melody is exactly the same, and what we're playing is exactly the same, so I'll move through it quickly. This is, again, how, we've op how we open the tune uh, at the very beginning. And we move to that pull off from the third string. Then the open second. Drop thumb to the second fret of the first, I mean of the second string after after a skip stroke. Releasing, playing the open after a skip stroke. So for everything that you see at the top sounds like this.
Just a point of note, uh, I kind of dampen the strings a little bit when I play those those uh, notes uh, on the, uh, those emphatic G chords, in case you want to do likewise. All right, again, familiar territory. Um, we're going to slide from the on the second string, second fret to fourth fret. Brush thumb, back to second fret, play, uh, pull off to the open. Finger, uh, third string, second fret, brush thumb. The same drop thumb figure we've done after a skip stroke. To the F major chord again, fifth barring across the fifth fret. Back for these two pull-offs. And then this closes like we close the A part. Hammer on to that G chord shape. So playing the second string open and then hammering onto that chord shape. Brush thumb. Pull off first string to open, then second, then play second string while fretting at second fret. And the first pass through, we would, if we're going to play that B part again, we would go, we play this open second followed by brush thumb, and then we do that same little syncopated maneuver with that uh, that alternate string pull off to a fretted string like we did before. But again, if you wanted to play it simpler, you could just do, oops. So again, and then we would go and do one, one more run through the uh, B part. All right, and then if you were ending the song, let's see real quick, let me bring this ending up. All right, so if you were going to end the song, um, you would play, or as, as Taj Mahal does it, goes back to those harmonics. So the last note of the song, and then brush across those harmonics at the 12th fret. So again, the last measure before this was, You can hammer. I mean, you can brush those harmonics. All right. Um, now, he also, in his version, has this little bridge part that is not that is that is, as far as I know, unique to his version. So you will not hear this in a jam. But this is the little bridge that he plays and that I play in the video as well. And it's pretty simple. So he's, he's starting at the um, and you'd play this in between a B part and a, going back to the A part. So. Uh, this is, you start with the uh, eighth fret um, and play that followed by a brush thumb. This is on the first string. Move to the, uh, the uh, tenth fret of the first string. That should be a thumb on the fifth there, not the fifth, okay. All right, and then I usually bring my finger, my index down to the tenth fret for this next measure. Hammer on uh, first from the first string tenth fret to the first string twelfth fret, and then play a brush thumb, keeping that finger on the twelfth fret. Play that first string again, followed by a brush thumb. Lift it up back at the tenth fret. Uh, play that followed by brush thumb twice. Here we go. Um, this is the measure I'm talking about. Same as we did before, hammer on to the 12th fret, followed by a brush thumb. And then again, keeping that finger in place, play the first string, followed by a brush thumb. And then, bring the index now down to the 12th fret, hammer on to the 15th fret. I use my pinky. So that, hammer on, followed by a brush thumb. And then a pull off from that 15th fret back to the 12th followed by brush thumb. Do that pull off and brush thumb twice in a row again. 
Move back to the 10th fret with your index, play that followed by a brush thumb. And now we close it out like we've closed out every other uh, section. This little uh, pull off third fret of the, of the first string to the open, second fret of, of second string, and then the open second. And then what you do next depends on, and that you do to actually, uh, after this bridge, you typically go to the A part. So you go. And so on. I'll play that bridge full, fully through just so you can hear it. Oops, sorry. And that's how you transition. One more time. So um, that's it. That's it. That is how you play through this version of Colored Aristocracy. Um, oh, I, sorry. I didn't. Uh, these were the last few measures I worked through. Let me just cover those again. I realized I didn't have them at the top of the screen, just so we know. So I said two, two more pull offs. And then back to 10th fret and then close it out. And again, I might do that if I'm going back to the A part. Okay, let me pause real quick for any questions. Looks like we're good. Okay, I'm gonna be back in the classroom in just a minute um, for the walkthrough of Shuffle About. Um, a lot of, uh, that tune's a lot of fun to play. So uh, join me there in a few minutes. Um, in the, you might want to refresh your browser screen if you're in the virtual classroom. Um, refresh your browser screen uh, in a few minutes to get that video up. Okay, I'll see you there.